Hi everyone, in this part of the FPS tutorial series, we are going to fix a few bugs in our game. And I promise after this video, we will going to implement wall running, so no more delays. First of all, we are going to fix the player movement. So if I move looking straight ahead, the movement looks okay. But if I move looking downwards, the movement becomes slower. And that's because for getting what direction I am facing, I use camera's transform. But doing so can give us values closer to zero for both x and z axis if we look up or down with our camera. So instead we can simply use player's own transform that is the kinematic body itself as we are rotating it only in the y axis. Here we go, our movement works just as we want. Now this is another bug related to player movement. Here if I try to walk towards a steep slope like this tilted object then our player simply climbs it up. But this doesn't happen with walls that are perpendicular to the ground. To fix this we first go to process movement function. Here I was earlier setting the return value of move and slide function to the velocity variable we created. So I am going to remove velocity from over here. And because of this we will need to handle gravity by ourselves now. Here we are going to add gravity only when we are not on the ground. Whereas if we are on ground we set gravity to a value close to zero. So it seems to be working, though we need to fix this jittery motion. Also if I try to climb down a slope, our player moves without sticking to the ground. To fix both of these remaining issues, create a new vector3 variable snap. Then set it to vector3.0 when we press the jump key. Otherwise we set it to vector3.down which is negative 1 in the y axis. Finally we change move and slide to move and slide with snap and pass snap vector we created as an argument. And this is it, the player stays on the slope while moving down. In newer versions of Godot, if we try to drop and pick up weapons, we would often get an error. I came to know about this by seeing a comment about this error from Bieber Sheenis. I'm sorry if I pronounced the name wrong, but thanks for letting me know about it. So the issue here is that, for knowing whether a variable has a reference to a node or not, I did an equality check with null. Though this used to work in Godot versions prior to 3.3. But in newer versions, we have to instead use a function for this. So search for the word null in all project files. Luckily, we have to do changes in weapon manager script only. So here we select the first line and modify the condition by using is instance valid method. Similarly, we repeat the same process on other six lines found in our script. Here we go, we get no error this time and it works just as before. 
In the last part, I forgot to add one additional method for weapon swing. So without it, our created spatial nodes would not get deleted when we drop our weapons. To fix this, we simply have to override the method exit tree which gets called every time a node is deleted. Here we delete the spatial node we created, that is the sway pivot. And here we go, the sway nodes are getting deleted when we drop a weapon. You will see that when I drop a weapon, the interaction prompt for picking up weapon doesn't go away. So there's a few reasons for that. But first and foremost, to make our game a bit more optimized, it would be a better idea to put weapon pickups on a separate layer. So I'm going to change collision layers on all weapon pickups. You can choose any layer you feel like. Then in intersect ray method, we have to change collision mask to contain all layers which we want to collide with. In our case, it's only the weapon pickups layer. So to find out its value, just hover over the layer you selected and use this value as the argument for collision mask. Also select the else block and indent it back. The interaction prompt hides properly now. So this is it for this video. In the next part, we will be implementing wall running in our game. So then I will see you in the next part.